the new BZ for X provides greater consumer choice and enhances its performance profile with the introduction of two new battery options. The midsize SUV is available with a choice of a 57.7 kWh or 73.1 kWh unit, gross capacity figures, so that customers can specify a version that best suits their driving requirements and their budget. The 57.7 kWh battery is exclusive to the mid-grade front-wheel drive BZ for X. The higher capacity 73.1 kWh unit is available in both front and all-wheel drive versions. The maximum driving range is achieved by the front-wheel drive model with the 73.1 kWh battery and 18-inch wheels. This version has a WLTP cycle distance of 569 km on a full charge. Moreover, in AWD configuration, the BZ for X is now able to tow brake trailers up to 1,500 kg, adding another dimension to its authentic SUV status. With front-wheel drive, towing capacity remains at 750 kg. The new batteries, supplied by Prime Planet Energy Solutions PPS, are configured so that more cells, 26, can be contained in each module, without increasing the unit's overall dimensions. The 57.7 kWh battery has 78 cells and the new high-capacity unit 104 cells. This compares to the previous unit's 96. PPES is a joint venture company owned by Toyota Motor Corporation, 51%, and Panasonic Corporation, 49%, established in 2019. The water cooling arrangement uses refrigerant from the car's air conditioning system when needed to reduce the coolant temperature. The cooler operates from the battery's lower surface so that each cell is cooled evenly. The standard provision of a heat pump in the air conditioning system ensures energy efficient performance. The battery heating function provides uniform heating of all the cells, with consistent operation even in very low temperatures, helping to reduce charging time. The system uses a water-to-water -water heat exchanger located between the high and low temperature coolant circuits. The driver is kept up to date on key battery performance data with new functions added to the 7-inch combimeter. These include current, real-time, charging power, the time remaining to reach 80% SOC, and battery state of health. With remaining capacity, the BZ for X benefits from a BEV navigation function which automatically proposes a route with recommended convenient charging stations, based on the battery state of charge and remaining driving range. The function is dynamic, so recommendations will be updated in real time, based on the car's actual energy consumption during the drive. A solar roof is available as an option on the high-grade BZ for X. This captures solar energy to help charge the battery. The actual range provided depends on location and light conditions. For example, in Toyota testing, 2.200 hours of sunshine per year in Nagoya, Japan, generated enough energy for up to 1,800 kilometers of driving. The complete update of the BZ for XS BEV platform includes the adoption of updated e-axles. These compact, lightweight units integrate the key electric drive components, transaxle, motor, and inverter. The space-saving design contributes to giving the vehicle shorter overhangs, a lower center of gravity and more cabin and load space. Their full-scale revision for the new model focused on both output and efficiency with the goal of delivering more power with lower energy consumption. As a result, maximum output from the front motor is up by more than 11%, from 150 to 167 kilowatts, while maximum power from the rear unit increased from 80 to 87 kilowatts. In the all-wheel drive BZ for X, the combined output is 252 kilowatt, 343 DIN HP. Making this one of the most powerful Toyota models available in Europe, outside the GR performance range. This power is comfortably handled by the powertrain, which features a preload differential and equal length left and right drive shafts to ensure straight-line drivability. New silicon carbide, SICK, semiconductors in the inverter are key to this achievement. These are more efficient than the previous silicon type in handling high voltages, operating at high temperatures and delivering higher outputs, Toyota also sought to reduce energy losses wherever possible. 
This included applying a super-polishing process to the surfaces of the gear teeth in the transaxle. Further gains were made by introducing an electric oil pump which uses less energy than the previous mechanical type.